Welcome back to August on the Oaks and we are about to sell some of our beef cattle. Um, they are at a decent value and we're starting to wind down the series. So, first 56 can be sold for £189,000. Super. We are harvesting our canola in field 82. That is running on course play and auto drive. So we are going to send this back to a point near the animal, the, the cows, not just the, any old animals. Um, and then we will hop over to the X9 and see how that is getting on. So I'll see you in a second. Oh, so far, so good. We got the case and the new holland doing the carting and yeah touch wood without any intervention minor intervention i did have to cut down a tree um yeah it's running very smoothly so far um and it always has done on this map i think i've said before the settings for auto drive and course play must be bang on for this so uh yeah all good liking the look of that case don't use it enough the gorgeous looking tractor but that is gonna be very nearly full as well so it'd be interesting to see if the combine has to wait um i think what it's gonna do now is head back down that run down here and then it'll make its way across and do another land so it might be all right actually fingers crossed tell you what we will do we'll hop over so i've loaded up as many eggs as we've got so far i have moved the fact, let's just have a run over to the production we moved the wheat i think it was oh, too close yeah move the wheat haven't set that off yet um all the barley is dry so let's have a look when's that the best time january okay in fact we could activate the wheat couldn't we just because then we know we'll have an idea of when the best price would be for that as well Again, January, very similar prices. Okay, right. So back to the brook, wherever that is. Come on. Ah, there we go. Perfect. So I told it to come in here because there's not actually a um, auto drive route down to the pasture that I put in. Um, clearly that's something that we added so yeah and i've never put a route in for it as we haven't needed it until now there is that case nine it's 95 percent so that should clear off and get tipped there we go right we will get loaded up with the remainder of the cattle now this is a modded trailer it is the let's have a look i think i only leased it yeah it's the ls540 i can't remember the name of the modder but holds 56 cows as the others were like 48 50 so yeah wanted to try and get it done in two runs and there we go over the train tracks and down carefully into the field. Some Muppet left the gate open. And if I remember rightly, the trigger is around here. Have a look. Or was it to the end? I think it was here. There we go. So the remaining 44 in to the trailer sad sight sad sad sight 
<laughs> but needs must. So what we can do now is get this set back to animal dealer buy point. We'll get it out of here because it did struggle a little bit before. There we go, and set that off on its way. We will then find the... Aha! Just in time. So how much canola have we got currently? Let that save. Canola, 38,000. Uh-uh. Oh, it double counts, doesn't it? So, what we need to look at then is the proper one. 37,499. That's good. And probably... So, I'm worried about deleting one of the silos just in case it takes the other crop with it. So, we'll keep on as we are, I think, and make do. The... Where's the one we want uh let's find the case we will stop that for a second and back it up there we go hopefully we can just tuck in here and it won't stop the combine oh it's cutting anyway there we go, and then that can go back onto that. It'll go off and unload. So while everything is running away relatively well in the background, just thought I'd come and do a bit of a a crop walk. And here we are on the edge of is it 65? Phil 65? We walk on will it tell us? No. Let's have a look. 68. Dear oh dear. Um now, I'd originally said we were going to forage this. And if you look at the right-hand bottom corner, it's at that stage now. If we just stick the stick the drone up for a minute. <laughs> um yeah, I don't know anymore. One re two reasons. One is we're not continuing the series anymore, so the silage isn't necessarily needed. Um, and, well, that, yeah, that's probably the only reason, really. There is only one reason. Um, so I think we're just going to harvest it. We'll let it go to, to corn, proper corn. And we'll harvest it as that, I think. We'll get some big headers. We might even lease combine is the one. No. Nope. We might even get another combine in and just do it as normal corn. Now, the other thing we've got, other thing we've got, is got this field of wheat. Now I've got two options with this one. One I do it myself, or two I pay a contractor. Um, trying to sort out the logistics with that contractor at the moment. Um, and yeah, I said I'd pay him fifty grand to harvest it because he could do with the cash, and then we'll just have the crop, stick it through the dryer, and jobs are good. And because that is a big old field. Um, so yeah. I think, yeah, that's going to be the plan. We're going to let this completely ripen. Um, that was loud, sorry. Um, and, yeah, we're going to just harvest it for uh, normal corn, I think. So back down at the animal dealer again. And I meant to say before, apologies, that um, we cleared field 83 of the straw and that went to the sell anything point just because it was dead close um 
just for speed. So another 148,000. Excellent. And <laughs> I think we might be all right with the loan. Um, <laughs> yeah, so yeah, we should be okay with that now. Um, right, what else is there for this to do? So we don't need the trailer anymore we will need the truck so we are gonna i thought i got i could have sworn i'd put in lease to own I thought i'd added that in you know right <laughs> what i'll do between episodes if i remember is I will add in least own because you know we've used this truck loads um, and we will carry on using it loads um, same with the fence tractor that'll uh, mind out the way dear that'll get purchased as well um, just you know make it a bit harder for ourselves why not um, so this can go this way and go back to somewhere out the way uh which will be the data farm ale bunker there we go that can go there that's on its way back to the field everything is running reasonably smoothly how full is the X9? 40% uh, and it says it's got 15 minutes left, which is rather good. I did do the headlands off camera. Um, I set it up and it said it was going to take an hour and 20 minutes. Um, it has done something weird with the course on this one. It's done a lot of um, driving around the field between points. Um, only did two headlands. Maybe that's why um but yeah so i wanted to get a bit done just so we could have more of a compact episode um where i don't have to drive a combine <laughs> that sounds lazy but i've done loads lately so yeah i thought we'd do it that way right we are going to head down so the plan is with the chickens once they've had this 786 liters that's it. They're just going to burn through that, eat it all, and then we'll vlog them, I suppose. Um, because we've got no more barley. We've dried it all. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's the plan with that. The little fence can stay there with the eggs. That's fine. We don't need you. I don't plan on... I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab that new Holland wherever it is once it's unloaded the track the combine and i'm going to repair it because it's annoying me um i don't think i'm going to sell any of the kit i don't think there's the need to um and i might keep this on as a personal save i think um not that i get much time to play it um personally but uh, yeah you know what i mean so that is the plan with this um so yeah, let's um, get the old combine unloaded and uh, we'll get the uh, New Holland repaired. Well, I've taken over the cart in just for the last bit of this run. Um, I didn't need to repair the New Holland. I just needed to turn off automatic repair within the auto drive menu. So that's done. Did that for both the um, New Holland and the case. Let me get out of the way first. Combine, thank you. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? Think, think, think. So, um, first thing. Um, the Oaks and Farm Sim Briscoe. He has being a very busy boy or is a very busy boy man whatever you want to call him um and he's been 
from what I gather, teaching himself Blender and has been messing <laughs> with the Oaks map and is intending to um, almost revamp it, I suppose, um, into more of an 80s style map. Um, get some beacons on and some hazards. Um, which I think is going to be really cool. Um, I'm gutted in one sense because um, we'll probably be long gone um, from the Oaks by then. Um, but yeah, he messaged me the other day to say he's um, been, you know, tinkering, redoing it, trying to make it that sort of 80s themed style buildings and. And I think that's quite cool, actually. Um, I think it lends itself quite well to that. Um, I did tell him that he needs to try and get it released on Mod Hub because there needs to be a Pucker Forex UK map on the Mod Hub. None of this crappy rip off versions of previous maps that are, or map. Uh, that is floating around um so yeah whether he does or not i don't know but i did try and convince him second point the corn field <laughs> i must be mad um the choice is gonna be yours <laughs> i might regret this do we Harvest it, let it let it ripen completely. Get it to the get to the ready to harvest state, and then um, we just harvest it normally, and we get the corn and we sell it. Or oh. <laughs> do we um, put it? Do we get get a couple of choppers in? Probably lease a few more tracks and trailers, and try and fill. The remaining two clamps that we've got. Um, I'm pretty sure we would. Um, so yeah, that is the question. Do we chop it for silage, ferment it, and then we could possibly just, I don't know, load it up with multiple conveyors and lorries and, and sell it? Um, yeah, let me know what you think because I'm a glutton for punishment, clearly. Um, and I was quite looking forward to chopping it. It's bizarrely. Um, I think that'd be quite cool with a couple of maybe three forage harvesters and goodness knows how many tractors and trailers we would need to run. Um, but yeah, that's the, that's the question. Do we forage it or do we harvest it? It is up to you um, oh dear I'm going to regret that, I know I am when I'm cursing, trying to record it and it's a three hour episode I shall be reminding myself of uh, this point and this <laughs> this question I asked you all, so yeah I don't know why I do it to myself, right we'll head back down to the field um, probably not too many more loads I don't think Um. So yeah, we might be nearly done for the day. Perfect screenshot there. Time that really, really well. Um, right, so hood back on. Change field of view and drop out of flight mode. That was a little bit of behind the scenes for you there, wasn't it? Let's um, jump in here. We will stop the worker and wait patiently for the 521 litres that we've got left in the tank to be unloaded we'll do it cheatily, there we go stay there lovely, pipe in and then we can get this hold it up we will find the that's okay. Engine off on that. And that can go onto the next point. 
We need this. Steady does it. Round the bend. <laughs> Drag it through the hedge. There we go. That can wait. Here, out of the way. Grab the combine. We'll get this just dropped off. And then we'll let the New Holland get down to the silo and tip. And we'll take a look at what we got off of this field. I can't remember what we did in this field before. Was it... I want to say barley. Barley. Yeah, no, can't remember. It's a months, months and months and months ago. There we go. Right, we'll get that onto there. Close enough. <laughs> Engine off. And uh, I'll see you in a minute when we're getting the final tally of the canola. So just reaching the tip point. There we go. Nice and quick on the side dump. And we go 120,000 litres. That ain't bad, actually. If we look at no, this and half that, it's going to be what 175, so 180, 90, 85, 87k. Not bad, not bad at all. So that is probably one of the quickest harvests I think we've done or I've shown on uh, the oaks. Um, so yeah, don't forget, let me know what you think. Forage the corn or harvest the corn? Let me know. Um, it'll be a big job either way, but the foraging could be quite cool. Um, I think silage it, and then if we want to sell it, we can always just sell it just to see how much we would have made, etc., etc. So yeah, please do let me know in the comments below. Um, but yeah, I think that's it for today. Um, thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you have, leave us a like and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.